All right, this is aliasing and more a test on the Canon EOS Digital Rebel SL1 or 100D as it's known in other parts of the world. Uh, the other day when I was doing the video quality footage test, I noticed something weird when I was filming this uh, the front of this uh, of my multifunction printer here, and that is you know, a little bit of aliasing in Moray. I can even see it on the back of uh, my, on the back of the uh, camera right now, uh, right above the uh, Canon uh, there. So uh, pretty interesting. Um, so this is just a test to see what it looks like. Uh, we're shooting this with the 24 millimeter STM pancake lens from Canon, the new uh, 24 millimeter lens. Um, our settings are 1 60th of a second, f2.8, and ISO 800. And uh, clearly, I'm, I'm focused uh, on the Canon uh, logo there in the center, and clearly there is some more going on. So, uh, an anti-aliasing, you can totally see it. There's the uh, front has... Uh, uh, kind of this brushed pattern to it and you can and you can see here in the in the part of the image that's in focus it is totally causing an issue but I would like to point out that it doesn't necessarily cause an issue if you can manage to shoot with a depth of field that's small enough it will cause an issue if you are Uh, for whatever is in focus in your depth of field. However, if you can shrink your depth of field, your foreground or your background, it, it can be less of an issue. Uh, another thing that uh, I use to test for more is uh, this little stack of, of uh, believe it or not, uh, this stack of comic books right here uh, on my 70D this stack of comic books, for whatever reason, used to give my 70D the worst kind of heartburn ever for more and anti-aliasing. And I can see it a little bit here in the monitor now. Um, so uh, that is one thing. So this is kind of a test of uh, Morai and anti-aliasing just to see how the camera handles it. I'm kind of settling, uh, in terms of using this for video, I'm kind of settling on 1 60th f2.8 and ISO 800, um, at least for normal-ish lights. And like I said, you know, that's with these really bright lights here and, you know, shooting against stuff where you have a black background. It's, it's actually, you know, surprisingly clean for ISO 800. It'll be really easy to clean up in post. Um, let me flop this over here to autofocus. It'll be really clean, easy. There we go. Let's focus on that. Are we getting more? A? Yes, we are. I can see it. It's thinking. So, uh, should be pretty interesting. Um, you know, this is not to say that your DSLR, you know, you have to. You know, there's only one thing you can shoot with your DSLR or the Moray and anti-aliasing is so awful that you can't use it to shoot video. Well, no, you can. You just have to do things to mitigate it. You just have to be mindful of the fact that anything that you're going to have in focus is going to have possibly Moray and anti-aliasing depending on what it's uh, got in terms of... Um, depending on what it's got in terms of uh, uh, patterns and stuff. And then it's just creatively, you know, not doing that for what's in your focus depth of field and just shooting with a depth of field that's, that's narrow enough that anything that you don't want to have that is, is doesn't. So at any rate, uh, once this gets uploaded to YouTube, I'd be curious to see what it looks like. Again, the... The post-processing workflow is FFmpeg, uh, basically up-converting it to um, 
H.264 with full uh, 422 video. Um, I'm actually looking at ways to upgrade it to 10-bit for other reasons, but um, that's the current workflow. So anyway, interesting test.